guys welcome back to another vlog so today is Tuesday it has been so long since I vlogged I don't even know when I did honestly um, so it's about 8 30 I just dropped off the baby my mother-in-law's I am headed to an interview which is really exciting because I don't remember if I told you guys but I put in an application like over a month ago at this place um, it was actually sent to me I didn't reach out to them um, someone sent it to me and said, hey, I think you'd be a good fit for this. You should apply. So I was like, well, it's shot in the dark. So I did. Um, and they finally called me and set up an interview for this morning. So it's a medical facility. Um, it's basically doing what I do now. But I think it's a little bit more involved, um, like on the back end of things, which is what I'm super interested in. Um, I don't really care for like the customer service aspect of it I'm just not like a people -y type of person and if I'm having a bad day it's kind of written all over my face and it's one of those things that is like a constant work in progress for me um so anyway I'm headed to that interview I'm super excited I hope that I get it um as I'm filming this it is December 20th so I'm really hoping it would make sense if I'm going to start a new job to start it the first of the year instead of both employers um not starting well one not starting with me and then one starting with me for just a couple weeks of the year i feel like that's a lot more work for everyone um so it would make sense just to start at the beginning of the year because i'm planning on going back full time the beginning of the year anyways so i don't know we'll see how it plays out i'm hoping that i get it if it's meant to be it'll be if it's not then it's not it's kind of like my whole mindset lately. <laughs> I'm kind of just leaving everything to the man upstairs and praying through it all. So, yeah, like I said, it's 8.30. So when I get up to the interview, we literally have no food in the house. Like, I have not been grocery shopping. I just, there's been so much going on in my life that I can't talk about and that I probably won't talk about, which I know is probably frustrating for you guys, but everything is starting to finally work out. Um, everyone is healthy. It has nothing to do with health. It's just like relationships and things like that. Um, and my blinker doesn't work apparently. So yeah, but everything is starting to work out. It's starting to come back in place and I'm hoping that everything is going to be back to normal soon. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've not been to the grocery store and like yesterday I had a peanut butter sandwich for breakfast and I had cheese it for lunch and then I had to go get something for dinner last night because I didn't have anything um and then after I get to the grocery store which I'll share that in a separate grocery haul um I'm getting some coffee that's like a must I gotta get some gas um and then I have some phone calls to make today I gotta make some appointments I need to really start on my January budget you guys we did so good in 20, is it 2020 or 2021? I don't even remember now. Where we like paid off all of our debt and then so much stuff has happened this year. The, you know, ever since my husband got back home, there's a lot that's happened, a lot of doctor's appointments, a lot of just going back and forth, um, a lot of gas and the baby, you know, we just, we racked up some more debt and <laughs> it's really frustrating but it is what it is, life happens and life is not perfect and just have to kind of roll with the punches. So I need to sit down and figure out my January stuff, prepare for the new year. Hopefully my husband and I can get on the same page about money. He's definitely the type of person, he's an impulse spender and which I used to be in my younger days, but now that I have like set back and really thought through our money situation and we've been debt free before and it's been really amazing, I would love to get back to that, um, but he's an impulse spender, and he doesn't mind to go to the gas station four times a day and spend $10. Like, that's just kind of who he is as a person, <laughs> which I know is not okay, but it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it's easier to not fight about it, so that's kind of what we've been doing. We've just been not fighting about money, and here we are. So anyway, I need to sit down and figure out my January budget. I need to do some cleaning. The baby has been sick um, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. She, yeah, I texted my husband and told him that she had a fever yesterday. So she woke up yesterday morning 
with just like a stuffy nose and she went to bed or she, the day before she was sleeping a lot and I was like oh my gosh I hope she's not getting sick because you know like that mom instinct you're like you know when your baby's getting sick and sure enough she woke up yesterday morning with a fever it wasn't a bad fever it was just like 100.3 100.4 you know that range that they say okay it's a fever um so I gave her some Tylenol and it comes back down um you can give Tylenol every six hours so around that five and a half hour mark is when it starts to creep back up so she's fighting something it's not she's not like struggling to breathe I mean she is because she's stuffed up but I just suck her out and then she's fine but she has a cough but it's more like just in her throat it's not in her chest so I'm not like worried that it's like pneumonia or something like that I'm mainly worried about influenza um, but she's not throwing up she's not cranky um, she doesn't cry when I pick her up like acting like her body hurts it's not like that kind so I don't know I'm hoping that it's just a combination of like teething and then the weather changing it's supposed to be super cold here in Missouri this week we're gonna be in like the negatives and we're supposed to get a ton of snow so you know we always take that with a grain of salt because we never get as much snow as what they say that we're gonna get so you know how that goes but so yeah baby's been sick the other two went with their aunt last night which is exciting we have like this side of the family that my husband has always um, grown up with, but they're not technically family. Um, they are his dad's best friend's family, but my husband has always grown up around them. He lived with them for a while in his childhood. Um, so they're basically just like brother and sister. So they're like aunts and uncles to our kids and we think the same of their kids. Um, so anyway, we've really started to get close to them lately, which is really exciting because my family kind of sucks. <laughs> Like, I don't have very much family, um, and the family that I do have are really toxic, so I'm thankful that my husband has family that we can, you know, be around, but, um, so yeah, the kids stayed with their aunt last night and their cousin, and I don't know when they're coming back today, so probably early, I hope. But anyway, that's kind of like what's going on. That's a little life update. Not a whole lot happening, but kind of a lot at the same time. Okay, I just got done with my interview and it was only like 15 minutes long, which was kind of alarming, but it's, I don't think it's a position that I'm looking for. Um, it's a lot of traveling for not a lot of money. So, like they want me to travel to surrounding clinics once a week and I would be dealing with unhappy patients. Like that's what I do, I de-escalate unhappy patients and that is not something that I'm good at nor something that I want to do so I don't think that it's a good fit for me it's not something that I'm looking for and the atmosphere was just a little weird like as soon as I walked in it was really awkward and weird um, so I don't know I mean at least I know and I don't have to wonder about it anymore um, so, she said that if they liked me, they would call back for a second interview, but I don't, I'm not really interested. Um, so, I don't know. I'll keep trying, and if something comes along that is meant to be, then it'll be, and that's kind of where I'm at with it right now. Um, so, my husband also, like, we're not completely sure, but he might be getting another job, making a lot more money. Um, so if that happens, then I might not even have to work. So I don't know, maybe I should just stay where I'm at until we figure out what's going on with him. I don't know. Okay, so my kids are on their way home. Um, I got home a little bit ago and I did my little grocery haul. I only spent like $34 at Walmart just to like get us through. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, so my I just said my kids are on their way home. Um, when they get here, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning. I'm gonna have them clean their rooms. And then I'm gonna start at the back of the house and work my way forward. And I don't know. And then um, what are we having for lunch? Oh, we're gonna have pizza for lunch. And then tonight we're having hot dogs with mac and cheese and tater tots, <laughs> which is super healthy, I know, but um, healthy food is kind of expensive sometimes. And when you just don't 
have that budget, then it is what it is. So we have got to stop shaming each other for just trying to get by. So I'm here to tell you that it's okay to have hot dogs, mac and cheese, and tater tots for dinner and frozen pizza for lunch. So anyway, um, I'm waiting on my kids to get home. We'll start cleaning, hopefully give you some cleaning motivation. I really want to do a Christmas project today. I'm hoping that I can get to it as long as the baby's doing okay. She actually doesn't have a fever right now, which is really exciting because she has had a fever for the last, you know, 24 hours basically. Um, so I'm hoping that it stays that way. So we're gonna get started on our cleaning, hopefully give you, hopefully give you some motivation and then we'll just have to see where the rest of the day takes us. guys so it is thursday it's about six o'clock at night um i wanted to end this vlog and come back on show my face before i actually ended it because i don't know how much footage i got the other day but after i did a little bit of cleaning things got real crazy the baby got really sick i ended up having to take her to the doctor she just has like a virus but um she just has a bunch of mucus and she's just not doing very well um She's finally starting to get better today, but it's just, it's very, it's a bad virus right now. So, um, I got really busy with her and then today, um, we just had a snowstorm. So there's been a ton of wrecks. I went to work today and, um, I left at 2.30 and everyone else did as well. We got to shut the clinic down and then I have to go back to work tomorrow. My husband actually had to bring me home because my van was not going to do well in the snow. Um, so it's just been kind of a crazy week. I'm super busy because of the Christmas um, Christmas coming up and I still have to get to the grocery store to get Christmas groceries and I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. It's going to have to be tomorrow because the next day is Christmas Eve and that's what I'm posting. So I don't know. I just, it's very busy around here. But um, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that it gave you some motivation. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, <laughs>